and welcome to Space Surfer Reviews. I'm Kevin T. Rodriguez of TheMovieWizard.com, and this is Marco. Yeah. Anyway, today we're reviewing James Cameron's Avatar. Boy, we're just... We've been waiting all year to pounce on this, and when I say all year, I mean the last 12 whole years. This is an epic in every sense of the word. James Cameron's 12 years can be seen on the screen. More so if you see it in IMAX 3D, which is how he intended you to see it, actually. Um, I'm not going to mince words. I think this is the best film I've seen all year. Yeah, it was the most visually spectacular film I've seen. And it, it did live up to the hype visually of what it was supposed to be. Hmm. Why do I have a feeling you're I, I'm not just gonna, say, gonna get? I like it. You I like it okay. a lot. Okay. I like everything with the aliens. I just wish that James Cameron, for twelve freaking years, didn't come up with the absolute shittiest villain I have ever seen in any movie ever. The most cartoony, dumbass guy they could have possibly had as the villain of the whole piece. Well, Every time he was on screen, he ruined oh, everything what? with his ridiculous uh, overacting. One-dimensional. Is it picky? picky. Is yes. it picky yeah, that the, the, a... the antagonist of the film sucks? Oh, That's picky. He does not suck. Oh, he was horrid. No, he... No, that was the one no, thing that was wrong with this movie. Actually, it's he, whatever he the colonel is named. He posed a very good threat. In he fact, did that, to the that, Indians. Yes, yeah, so the most blatant. No, that. Oh God. No, here's the thing. Okay, look, he's not the most sophisticated villain. I'll give you that much. I'm not even going to put him as the most. No, he isn't memorable even a dimension. Villain, There's no dimension to but him. But he's there to cause trouble, and he does it really well. Personally, here's the funny thing. For all the hype, a good character. Um. I don't know. Are the bad oh, guys oh, supposed oh. to be good characters anyway? Are, they, are movies better when the cat bad guy is a good character? Sometimes. Um, but Come on. But no, I'm not... Look, here's the, th here's the thing. I wasn't quite as blown... The action sequences, which are very spectacular, oh, yes. and they put a lot of hype into the action oh, sequences, yeah, no. but I have to be honest, they weren't nearly as impressive as... The world, these creatures he created. Oh, no, this... The world, in fact, even the Naveens... I'm saying it right, right? Navi. Navis. When... N-A apostrophe V-I. They don't look fake. I thought no, for they sure look, they, they would be amazing. fake. I mean, from the trailers, it's kind of funny, because in the trailers that you see, they look kind of fake. In the movie, they don't look any different, but there's just something about watching them for an hour and a half no. where it's like all of a sudden it they just They were works. the most realistic computer generated characters ever put on screen. Mm -hmm. This is the most visually spectacular film I think I've ever seen ever. R which right. Which is and, what makes and the, the And the acting was ex excellent. I love the cast. In fact Zo Zoe Se Saldana. Saldana who was Uhura in Star Trek. I think that was my favorite character. She had a very good she personality, did. and Excellent. she almost carried no, the this, movie. The, in the a characters way. were more realistic than anything else I've ever right. seen. This is that right. visually spectacular right. movie. Right. I don't really hold it that much against. I do. Right. I, I well, find okay. it horridly okay. disappointing and in now, certain aspects. And now that we talk about the characters, I will admit, yes, the bad guy was very cartoonish. Had, but yeah. at, but at the same time, he a, I don't know. I would. I guess I would have liked him to be a little. Deeper, Look, but that I'm thinking we're on the same page here. I think that that it was an excellent film and that it was really awesome in every way. But come on, that guy sucked. He, but, he was and, not a good villain. Well, well, no, but at the same time, uh, that was a pretty good final fight. But oh no, the fight and, was awesome. Yeah. Everything he decided well, right. to do was great. He, as a character, was I really don't have any motive other than I'm an asshole, yeah. and the movie needs to have an antagonist. Yeah, pretty. Pretty much. Um, and Giovanni Ribisi's character, the guy who's the smarmy ass who runs the... Oh, same oh, thing. Yeah. He oh, yeah. was well, no. just as bad. It was like Dance of the Wolves. No, no was actually the it was very... It was very that, much Dance of the Wolves. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Dances with Wolves because you have the, the yeah, white the guy man goes going after the He, he learns Indians. about their signs and he yeah. sees the white guys as the bad guys. Right. Which was the, the Right, same. but... I, you know, I don't. This, we're look, talking I, so much about the action, though. I mean, we're doing a great disservice to the rest of it. Some of the best moments. Oh, this no. is also one of the yeah. most realistic romances I've seen in a long oh, time. Yes. I mean, the, very well. I mean, the simple touches are so moving and so realistic. It's like you feel them, and it's just yeah. a solid movie all around. Um, Everything with the Navi was amazing. No. This is supposed to be our generation's Star Wars. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a visual feast. But when you really think about the plot, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I give it five stars, and even though, you know, I actually would not mind seeing a sequel to this. He created such a world, I wouldn't mind if he could have a good idea going back 
back to it. I don't think he should. I think he should end it with us wanting more. But this was excellent. I yes, loved it, was. it. I do have to say, it, it was... It, uh, the parts that were excellent made up for the, the minor things that really did screw Right, over. and they really are mi minor. Well, I mean, I can't... They, the thing, the problem I was having with it was, it was they are minor. Like, the actual plot being kind of mundane, that really isn't a problem. This is a visually spectacular film. That's the point of it. It is. Right, eh. The villain really did bother me, though, because he was so one-dimensional and so pointless and, and really had no feeling behind him. As no, he, he, what he did was excellent, but just him as a character was bad. I give the movie four and a half stars. It was one of the best films of the year. It was excellent. But that one aspect of it just knocked it down that little bit for me, and it pissed me off every time it was on screen. But it was so good. Everything else was so wonderful that James Cameron could have just, you know, appeared on screen and flipped me the bird for like five minutes in the middle of it, and I would have still liked it. Yeah, yeah, that is true. True, I am certain of one thing, this movie's gonna be a huge success. I